Thank you, Bob. A United States military burial is a right to those who have served our country. Still, years after vets all across the U.S. go without this honor because they don't have any family and friends. But as ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates tells us, a Suncoast organization is trying to prevent that from happening. They sacrificed years of their lives to protect our freedom. And even though some of their last days were spent in solitude, they were laid to rest with dignity and military honor. From taps to the folding of the flag, two military veterans got an official send-off despite having no friends or family in the audience. I got an email from the cemetery saying they were having a funeral service for two veterans. Their remains were unclaimed. We All we know is their names, dates of service, dates of birth, and dates of death. No, nothing else. No idea why, how, what the circumstances are. Members from the Knights of Columbus, a fraternal service organization, stepped up to ensure those who served our country had the proper send-off. Vietnam vet, Army First Class, Bressler Zelenka, and seaman recruit Don Daniel were the day's honorees. It's a patriotic thing to do, and that's why we do it. But the issue of indigent vets with no one to claim their flags or bodies isn't uncommon. In fact, the Sarasota Military Commission has received an increased number of request for members to attend funerals for the unknown. Our first funeral was in May of 2010, and since that time, we've now attended unbroken 371 such funerals. But funeral attendee Hank Pippard says the privilege is theirs. I feel that it's the best thing to do for the veterans that have no family. It makes me feel great to want to represent them, you know, in honor of what they did for our country. Sentiments echoed by Mara. When it came time, they put on the uniform and served. So we want to be make sure that someone is here to say the fond farewell, receive the flag of honor for their service to their country. Sarasota National Cemetery hosts funerals for veterans without families on Wednesdays. Go to their website to get more information about the next funeral service. Bo Beth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Bo Beth.